Hello everyone. I welcome you all to my another video session wherein you will see the differences between the Automation Anywhere version 11 and Automation 360 version. So before we start our session for the day, I request every one of you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our YouTube channel. So without any further delay, let us start our discussion for the day. So the first feature that we will cover under the difference between version 11 and A360 is the bot editor. So in V11, there is a thick client which is available or which you need to install separately apart from the, apart from the control room. So uh, over there, you can uh, build your bots in Automation Anywhere client. But in A360, the web-based bot editor is available. So there is no need to install separate client in A360. The next feature that we will be discussing is the operating system. So in V11, Microsoft Windows operating system is available. But in A360, both Linux and Microsoft Windows operating system are available. The next feature that we will be going to discuss is one of the most important feature or uh, that is the Metabots feature. So in V11, you have the capability to create your own Metabots and you can reuse this Metabot functionality in your code as and when it is required. But in A360, there is no Metabot functionality which is present. But while migrating the bots from V11 to A360, the, bo the metabots are migrated as equivalent task bots and they provide the similar output and capabilities or functionalities as that of metabots in V11. The next important, again, important feature is the custom packages. So in V11, you do not have the capability or functionality for creating your own custom packages. But in A360, you can create your own custom packages with the help of Java SDK. The next feature that we will be discussing is the delivery model. So in V11, the on-premise and hybrid, hybrid cloud delivery model is available. But in A360, the on-premise and software as a service delivery model, model is available or provided. The next feature that is uh, that we will be discussing is the database feature. So in V11, separate databases, separate database will be created for each component. That is for control room, for automation anywhere client, and for IT bot. The separate uh, database will be created. But in A360, there will be a single database which will be created uh, except for the IT bot. The next feature that we will be discussing is the user device setup. So in V11, you need to install the separate bot creator and the bot runner on the machine on which you are installing. But in A360, you just have to install the bot agent on the user machine. The next important feature which is available or which is which we will be discussing is the bot editor view. So in V11, you can see only the list view, uh, that is the line by line uh, feature is available. But in A360, you can view your bot in three different modes, that is flow mode, list mode and dual mode. So in flow mode, the, bots, you, the bot will be visible as a graphical representation. But and in list mode, the, it is similar to the V11, that is you can view your code line by line but in dual mode, you can see both the flow mode and the list mode. The next and the last important feature that we will be discussing is the bot deployment. So in V11, when the lower priority bot is already running and the higher priority bot is deployed, then the lower, then the lower priority bot will be suspended and the higher priority bot will start and execute and it uh, and the lower priority bot will uh, will start to run once the higher priority bot finishes its execution but in a360 the priority of the bots is verified at the deployment time so when the bots are queued the higher priority bots are deployed before the lower priority bots if the lower priority bot is already running then the higher priority bots will be uh, 
then the higher priority bots will be deployed only after the lower priority bot completes its execution. So these are all the features or uh, that are uh, so these are all the features that which is available in V11 and A360. So with that, we have come to the end of our video session wherein we saw the differences between version 11 and Automation Anywhere A360 version. So if you have any queries regarding this video, then you can raise your queries in the comment section and I will be more than happy to answer all your queries. So before we wind up our session for the day, I request every one of you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our YouTube channel. Thank you all and have a great day.